the company this Descacciati. Descacciati. Yeah, yeah, right, right. And is this does it always been slanted that way? Has it always been? This this made, one this, this one, one is there's another model of this the mm. this is the A10. Okay. Um, there's one which is flat and this is what they call the A10 Ergo. Okay. And so it's got it's got this slant in it. And it, for me, it works because it, it really, really does encourages slant. me. I'm doing a close-up. But it really encourages it. me to sit okay. at the front of the bench. Okay. Because if I sit, or if I even, to get oh. more support, I'll bring the bench in. Mm. And then I can sit, but I've got the right profile. It means no matter if you go back a little, you're still slanted. Well, I, 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 well I'm very conscious. I mean, I, I, what, I, what it stops me from doing... It stops you. Good. It, it's, for, it's from doing this. Yes, because then is, you'll go... The gravity is, is in the well, other yeah, direction. Yeah, because it, it's sort of... I mean, I have to sort of adjust yeah. it yeah. to go out my way to make it do yeah. that. But what it tends to do okay. is, is it keeps me at the front of the bench. But, mm -hmm. I, but even if I go back a little bit, I can still have this angle mm -hmm. here. Um, so it just feels that my it moves it helps move my way forward. And what about when you go to either extreme of the uh, keyboard? Is are do you still lean? Are you leaning toward the upper registers from that with that bench? Let's see. using your wrist it really looks good it's very supple and it's making a very seamless sound and wavy yeah, it's got a yeah. nice waviness to it um so that, so that was yeah so I mean, when you I, went so so but you always keep your bench a certain distance of course when you I, sit down yeah. okay so yeah and, and I'm, okay. I'm sort of experimenting with this because this bench is sort of is a little bit different and and now but yeah i'm certainly mm -hmm. i want to find a position and mm -hmm. the height so i'm not always fiddling with it because mm -hmm. um now show how you lift in. This has got the uh, hydraulics. Mm -hmm. So I'm giving. So that's just high. Nice as it and goes, smooth. Which is which? This has got a high keyboard. Right. You've got a Steingraber and let's see what you got there. Steingraber and Zone. Steingraber and Zone. So, yeah, Stein, yeah, Steingraber Sons. and Zone. Um, okay. So this is definitely. I mean, th this would be. I was watching you as you got to the higher register. If I were sitting there, I get, I get. I get the feeling that I was being thrust a little more forward than on a flat bench. In other words, if it's giving me that edge forward, and I do that naturally myself mm -hmm. from the center of the bench, because I have, I, I, you know, I don't use the, anyway, my bench is flat, let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. So I gauge my balance by my body shifting its weight, so I don't have the assistance of that vector that you have on this bench. So what was happening to me when I turned my bench around to try to get the vector, even though it was a slight one, not compared to this, mm -hmm. I was feeling, uh-oh, I'm going too, too much forward um, for my taste, for my physical comfort. That's what was happening to me. But it was just subtle enough mm -hmm. to bother me. So but that's why I was asking you about this. When you go there, do you feel like you're being pulled a little too much in that direction if you yourself are leaning there? Yeah, that's mean, all I'm asking. This... Um... It's a very firm bench, and so I do. What I, what I have noticed okay, okay. is that I'm very aware um, of the, the. There is a certain pressure, like on my thigh, here, yeah, and, yeah. and I'm sort of very conscious of my balance, like this. The, the, this yeah. leg. So that other leg about, is stopping it, you from folding it, 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 off it, 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 the rails. It, it, it's balancing, but okay. um, so in that sense. Um, I'm very aware of it, but that's maybe just because it's different from what I was using before, which which is just a cushion and a book on the on a regular bench. So you had a regular flat. So you let yeah. So you did, yeah. it was just plain flat. You could see the you could see the vector more when you when you do it from like here. So you know the, the clever stuff is is all the hydraulics, and so in theory, if I wanted to get a different top, um, all it would need is some plywood, and then just you could make. Uh, uh, you could make a cushion. Um, you could. I could find a local upholsterer who oh, could make a cushion. This part, the mechanism, that's the clever part. 
that you could what this is is there's just wood here right. um and there's um a place for these these, these these just screw in right so you could in theory get another uh, okay. another top just after a bit if i just find this slant just doesn't work for uh, me oh the slant part of you right right i mean okay. i could get a local upholsterer can i mean there are people around who will do that yeah um yes. and then you just reuse the hydraulic mechanism Bent, it's slanted in such a way that if you go a little bit back, like here, it pulls you forward down. It reminds you not to go too far back on the bench. But Let me try that again so I can actually see you yeah. properly. So I'm going back and I'm sliding forward because it's vectored that way. Whee! It's very interesting. It reminds the student not to go too far back at the bench. Whee! So this is where you're comfortable. This is where I would be on my flat bench anyway. Yeah. Couldn't be back. <laughs> You're in full right. Did you get that? I did. That's good. That's, uh, that's funny. That is funny.